what's going on everybody i'm alex hunter this is hp builds and welcome back to round two of getting this car up and running so if you guys missed the first video this car is a 2007 mustang v6 that we just purchased because i was looking for something to kind of have as a fun play around car we're gonna thrash on this unlike what we can do with our two race cars but there's a catch with this car this car has been sitting for a while and uh, on this other side over here well it's been t-boned and it sat for a very long time i think last video i explained that i was told it only set for a year and based on the fuel in this car i just don't think that was true so since last video i have actually done a little legwork trying to make this video you know a little bit more uh quick into getting this thing running so i already hot wired the fuel uh, pump replaced the fuel filter and drained all the fuel out of this car and i burned it last night and i will say it was very very slow burn it's been sitting for a very long time i think it was way more than a year but today we have a pretty short to-do list before we try to fire this car up I've got to throw some gas in it now that I've got the fuel pump back and wired together. And then I've got to come up here and replace the spark plugs in this car because when I took them out last video, they were in pretty rough shape and the parts house didn't have any for me to replace them with. So I just did a quick sandpaper job to them and I don't think it was doing the trick. So went ahead, got new spark plugs. So we're gonna change those out real quick. We're gonna throw some starter fluid in the intake and fingers crossed, it won't take that much to start. I am, however, going to throw a little bit of starting fluid in each cylinder right before I put the spark plugs in. That way I just make sure that it gets past the throttle body and tries to help this thing fire up. So let's hop under the hood. Let's get these spark plugs changed. Let's get back here, throw some fuel in this thing. And uh, who knows, here in a few minutes, we might be out on the road doing a burnout. Fingers crossed, let's go for it. Now that we got the plugs in we've got the fuel in all that's left to do is turn this thing over but look at these plugs i mean this is even after i clean these things up they're they're just rough they're worn out they need to be thrown away but i will tell you this before you guys get in the comments and roast me here i've already checked for spark so this morning i put one plug in and while i had ashley here i went ahead and had her turn the car over and i was able to see spark which means we have a good coil pack, our plug is okay, our wires are okay, everything in the ignition system is working as it should. So now all that's left to do is we have to turn the key over, we have to prime everything, get all the lines filled back up with fluid, and then uh, hope for the best. I'm hoping that all six of these things fire. I'm hoping we uh, puff a little bit of smoke out the back. Now that we've got the starter fluid in there, we've got oil circulating around. So I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna get in the car and we're gonna turn that key over and uh, who knows, it might just fire first shot. All right, moment of truth. Y'all place your bets. Are we gonna get this thing to fire on first try today? I have high hopes. Let's see what we make happen. Uh-oh. 
Well, that was first try. I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna check. I wanna see if we can uh, purge the uh, fuel system. I didn't see a valve on the uh, fuel rails. I'm gonna look one more time. Who knows, I might have missed it last night. Dang it. Well, that was first try, it didn't work. Let's uh, give it a minute. Let the starter cool down a little bit. Throw a little bit more starting fluid at it. I don't know what it could be at this point other than we have air in the lines because I drained this tank at the fuel filter. So pretty much from the fuel filter, which is right under me, all the way up to the fuel rails, all drained back. So my guess is we might have some air in the lines and uh, just turning it over like this isn't quite doing the trick. So let me hop under the hood and see if we can, uh, you know, purge this uh, fuel system. All right, guys, well, here's the deal. I've been kind of working off camera a little bit because some of the things I was doing, we're just gonna take a little bit too much time to put into the video. And uh, for instance, I took the pressure sensor off the fuel rail and turned the key over to make sure we had fuel up in the rails. We did, a little bit poured out, so I know we're good there. And I've kind of went from there, I've kind of been listening to the car as it's trying to turn over and it's spitting and sputtering on every single fire. And I thought about it, I'm like, you know, these cars are pretty notorious for having timing issues, especially with the mileage that this car has. And I said, I wonder if I uh, throw a tuner in here and read the codes, maybe it'll uh, tell me something that I just can't hear or see. And I guess with the battery being off this car for so long, that it has lost anything that has happened in the past. And even now, as it's trying to turn over, it can't register new codes yet. So I'm not getting any codes, which I find very hard to believe because I had the mass airflow sensor unplugged, just trying to make sure that it wasn't, you know, trying to get more air in than it needed at startup. So I'm down to the point where I literally have no idea what is going on. We have spark, we have air, we have fuel. I just don't know. Um, and again, just like last video, I am out of time today. I've got to get uh, to Gallatin and uh, meet up with everybody. I'm really kind of discouraged because I, I had very, very high hopes for today kind of enjoyed it. It's been sunny and warm and I've got the 24 hour Le Mans here. So I've just been kind of watching racing, working on cars and it just will not fire. And I've done it so much that I've actually killed the battery. So I brought the truck up here, even uh, put some jumper cables on it and it just won't change anything. So I'm going to have to call in somebody with a uh, little bit more knowledge than what I have. I just don't know what it would be. I really don't, other than maybe we have some valves that are stuck open. I just don't know. I think it might be a little bit bigger issue than uh, what I originally intended on. We're still gonna get it running. We're still gonna make this happen. I'm just a little discouraged today, but we'll move on to another day. So I'm gonna end this video right here. I know it's short, but uh, yeah, if you cast your bet, this car was running by the end of the day. Well, you uh, you were wrong. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. I promise we're going to get to some eventful stuff because once we get this car running, we're taking and we're going straight into mad thrash on this car. We'll see what we got in the upcoming days. But for now, um, we're going to catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.